Hi beautiful people and welcome to why we believe the word of god says in revelation 12 11 and they overcame him mm -hmm. by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto the death i'm Sherwin, and i'm Rhonda. and today we have another testimony one that would be encouraging to each and every one and i pray that you keep that prayer in your heart for these individuals who have found it fit to, to share uh, God's goodness in their lives. And I know that it will bring that encouragement mm -hmm. to each and every one. Amen? Amen. And before, as usual, you must, you must, by the presence of the Spirit, just to be with us and to take control over this set. Let's pray. pray. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you would rest and abide with us. Touch your daughter's tongue with her life, cool Amen. from the altar. Let us speak of you with boldness and clarity oh, yes. that someone out there may understand the goodness of Amen. you. Amen. We pray, O oh God, that you would be with us, be with each and every person that is viewing, strengthen her, be with our cameramen, and mm. allow your will and your will alone to be done. We thank you, we honor you, we glorify and magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Who we have with us today, Sherwin? Sister Annie <laughs> Alexis. You know, I I feel so great when individuals come forward to testify mm. of God's goodness in their lives. You know, I, I sometimes I wonder if, if individuals say, well, God created our goodness in his life. As a matter of fact, God has testified through all the word, his word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he didn't do that, then we would not have been encouraged mm -hmm. to serve. You yeah, understand yeah, where I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, heading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, by the goodness in each one of our lives and the ability to testify of what, what God has done within mm -hmm. our lives can bring an encouragement to other individuals. But you know, you, you say that showing and the fact that the Bible is a book of testimonies. It is. If we didn't know what Abraham, Abraham would have done, you know, <laughs> where would we be? Our, our faith might not have been where it was. If we didn't know what Paul would have done, we would not have known of the transforming power of God. Mm. If we didn't know what all, all of the people in the Bible, including Christ, have done. The Bible is a book of testimonies. Don't, don't hold back. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb mm. and by the word of their testimony. The yeah. sister's testimony today, somebody might be able to overcome. Mm. And we thank you for coming. You know, I just love you. Welcome. The first day that I visited your church, Q-Rep, yeah. I just love you. I see you like and I, I loved you too. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. We just met by the door and started. <laughs> yes. I am telling you that. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you that. God's yes. divine plan. Amen. Yes. Well, today we have Sister Anne Marie Alexis with us. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm Sister good. Marie, great. Bless, blessed of God. Amen. I can see that. And thank you for having me. Amen. Yes. Amen. So, I could call her Anne Marie or Sister Alexis. Man, Anne Marie, I'm yeah, good. Anne Marie, good. <laughs> yes. All right. I don't want to, do, you know, go. All right. Okay, great. All right. So, tell us who is Anne-Marie? 
And Maria Alexis is mm. loved of God from the very beginning. Mm. Amen. Childhood traumatic. Mm. I, at six months of age, my mother felt it necessary to give me to somebody else. Mm. So I didn't have the privilege of growing with my family, no part of them, even though they were right here in Trinidad. Mm. So needless to say, that created some ripples. Mm. And I, dealing with rejection like that, as a young child, it, it, it affected me. I, um, she had taken me to a, a woman that she knew. I, I eventually learned that it yeah. was a distant cousin. And that person lived in Cookie. So I grew up in Cookie, even though my mother lived in Enterprise. Mm. The woman loved me, mm. for real. And so until she, she died at nine years old, I didn't know I was adopted. I didn't know hmm. anything about no mother. And mm. I had no um things were good. She she took care of me and my neighbors also told me afterward, you know, the day that she got me, she called all of them over the fence to show them her baby, mm. you know, and proud. And this is somebody who could have really been my grandmother. Yes. But she yeah. she loved me. I when she died at nine, that created additional trauma let us say because nobody else in the house i was related to at that point mm -hmm. so she lived with somebody mm -hmm. and that person's granddaughter was the head of the house at the time and that person was about 10 years older than me mm -hmm. so literally a teenager yes. young yes. young adult yeah yeah and the the year that I call her nanny. I used to call her nanny. The year my nanny died, that person was pregnant with their own daughter. Hmm. So there was a, there was a, um, what do you call that? A divide? Mm. <laughs> there was a divide. I, I, now that we are in this enlightened age, yeah. I can look back and safely say I was abused, but it was neglect. Hmm. Abused through yeah. neglect? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. I, I was I was 12, 13, and I was saying I was going out, going by my friend. And the most that you would hear is that, okay, if you're coming back and it's too late, we would take off the lights, but the key will be under the mat. Hmm. So basically, you're on your own. I, yes. Yes. But for the goodness of God, mm -hmm. right? As, as on my own as I was, God still dealt with me that... Okay, I might be coming in late, but where yeah. would I be? Mm -hmm. By a friend from the church. Yes, you, know. you know, some mm -hmm. older person who would engage me, let me come and lime and whatever. I never was yeah. looking for anything that would get me into trouble. Right. So I look back and I still thank God for his grace and goodness in my life that even though I became a bit rebellious and, you know, Really something. Yeah. God still had a hole on me. <laughs> and I believe he had that hole on me because he saw as usual he's God and he sees from the beginning to the end. Yeah. And he knows who would really want to serve him. Mm. He knows that at this age I find myself that my joy would be in the joy. Lord. Yes. I want joy. nothing else. Yes. So he, he held me together. I mean, some of my teachers wouldn't agree with that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very dramatic the school times. I mean, primary school, I came no lower than third. Mm -hmm. right. I remember my nanny at the beginning of the term, she was firm. And she would call me and say, all right, it's a new term. You're going out, spanking you, everything. She said, but if, if you come any less than third in test, you're going to have to explain that to me. Hmm. And that oh, was it. Yeah. I went for the term on that. And we never had, I know she never <laughs> had to deal with me with grades and what, what was happening. But yeah. when I, well, she died at nine, I passed common entrance. And when I started to go to 
Well, I passed from Matsek in South because mm -hmm. I'm originally from South. Mm -hmm. I passed from Matsek. And that five years, I, if I didn't come last, I came second to last wow. or third to last. Wow. That was it. Last, second to last, third, that was it. Yeah. And the teachers would only say, you know, how I just like to make fun and not settle in. But the lack of, you know, mm -hmm. the foolishness is in the mind of the child. The Bible yeah. tells us that. And you, you need guidance. Yeah. Some children nearly come out of the mother's womb mature. <laughs> and you can dip, drop it, come it, mm -hmm. they sit, they will come. But I was not like that. Yeah. And so once or twice, I believe I was told, you, you, have, you have homework. And I say, no one does it. Wow. If I yeah. So I went through secondary school and wasted it thoroughly. Wasted it. But God, again, mm -hmm. kept his eyes on me fights what and what but still what he did at the beginning of me attending secondary school we didn't have a french teacher mm -hmm. and the principal of the school the lovely mrs ruby thompson mm. took our class under her wing yeah. so she knew all of us and loved us mm -hmm. she called us her one tree we mm -hmm. were her one tree yeah. anytime we have an empty period it was french you know and mm -hmm. we, we used to get Fed up at a point, some of us like me, you know, not those who really at the book. Boy, French again, boy. But because of that, mm -hmm. I believe that was one of the reasons I was not expelled wow. from the school. Mm -hmm. That was one of the. So God just did his thing. And when I came to, to the, what I will call the age of reckoning, where I could bond with God and really understand what he had for me. Mm -hmm. I could look back and see his hand in every area yeah, yeah. of my life, yeah, yeah, yeah. even the most painful. Mm -hmm. wow. He never let me go, no matter what. You know, from, from the very start. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you speak of the goodness of God. I wanted to stick up in because at the end of this testimony, you have to say something in French. Uh -huh. All right, so stick up in there, but let's go forward. <laughs> let's go forward. <laughs> let's go forward. So, <laughs> no, yeah, but then, yeah, but then additional stress. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Additional stress. <laughs> so, tell us about your teenage life, because I, I guess that's where we are now. When you're you're in school. And what is what is in your mind? Because Nanny, that's what you call yes. her. Nanny has died. You're you're in this this home where basically it's neglect, mm -hmm. but but you're still there. Mm -hmm. How how did you handle? It? Not well at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I. Because I heard you talk about some rebellion and stuff. Yes, yes. Um, the young lady, le let us for this occasion call her my adopted sister. Mm -hmm. okay. So she had her baby and um, that was her focus. Yeah. I was literally a burden, which I was told many times. Wow. Right. And there was this, um, <laughs> they used to tell me three things. I was hardened. I um I had an attitude and I would be just like my mother. Hmm. Who I didn't know that. Yes. All right. So just by that indication, you knew that, you know, mother oh. wasn't wasn't a, a piece mm -hmm. of cake. Right. But um we had we had various confrontations, mm -hmm. dispute. We we never got along. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. we never got along. And with the the telling of the negatives to me, yeah. I didn't, it, I couldn't, there wasn't anything to bond with. Yes. Right? So she had a life that was really active and going out. Sometimes she would leave the, the baby, baby in the night. So you, I'm expected to, to take, take care of it. Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. And um, there was a lot of let us say stuff that that wasn't right mm -hmm. and i think that helped with the rebellion because if you don't like me yeah 
how come there mm-hmm. are times you, you could use me, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, right. So that brought some attitude and, you know, moutiness. I became very, very, very mouthy, mm. which I'm now looking now to reverse, <laughs> which, which takes <laughs> like nearly a lifetime again. <laughs> because when your brain gets accustomed to a certain mm-hmm. behavior, yeah, it's like that to get it, rid of it. But for the grace of God. We can do all things right? right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And he is... Because I, I trust him and I love him and I, I see what he's done for me. I continue trusting even more because I've recognized that he really loves me. Mm-hmm. My behavior doesn't turn him off right. from me. I, I feel all messed up and disturbed, but there he is. Sometimes I'm thinking something and he works it out for me and I didn't open my mouth mm-hmm. to say a word or to mm-hmm. ask for help. Before you I'm telling you, mm-hmm. right? So he has worked with me over the years to show me, to prove to me yeah. mm-hmm. beyond a shadow of a doubt that he loves me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now I'm at a point where I'm comfortable with me, mm-hmm. right? There was a time I did not like me. Wow. I didn't like me. I, 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 I remember there was a certain situation and I, I, I'm a seamstress. Mm-hmm. So I got a job in the Cayman Islands somebody saw some work I had done and sent for me. Mm-hmm. And the person promised me a certain amount of money every week. And that didn't happen at all. Mm-hmm. So I was, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I was real yeah. shaken. <laughs> I was shaken <laughs> to the core. Naive, naive, yes, but shaken to the core. And I remember finding the ministry, the, the labor board across there, because I start asking, well, what, what to do? Mm-hmm. And they told me about the labor board, so you're going into the labor board. <laughs> <laughs> and it, that week, they went into her, and that week she paid me the promised salary. So tell, and, us, tell us, what, what age were you when that? Around 30. 30. Yes, mm-hmm. I was about 30. And she, she wouldn't pay me. And after that, it went right back again. So that meant I had to go into the labor board every week. Well, I, I didn't do that. Mm-hmm. At the end of it, I stayed out about seven months. I wrote a letter to the immigration. Mm-hmm. I explained what was happening and that I wanted to come back home. And they made her pay for the ticket and I returned home. When I came through the airport, I had 250 US on me. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Nowhere to go, nowhere to... It had to be a friend because no relatives. Right. Okay. And even in a scenario like that, God took care of me. And when I look back now, I can see where I made the decision to go. And I didn't pray about it. Right. I just felt this was it. Mm-hmm. God answered then because I was so unhappy where I was living at yeah. the time. Yeah. I was looking for a way, way out. out. So without going into that se- that serious prayer mm-hmm. mm. to, to get God's guidance, I just jump up and carried myself. Yeah. But the goodness of God again brought me back, recovered me. And when I look back, I, I really had to be in Trinidad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't do anything well in, in all levels as such. I, mm-hmm. I did subjects what I liked. Mm-hmm. When usually we choose subject that will subjects yeah. that will put you in a certain mm-hmm. field yeah. from the five years that i went mad sick i got one subject which was art and there was a whole bacchanal at home i mean what on earth would you do with art <laughs> you're so stupid and it went on and on and on but i liked art yeah. so i realized even if your child not good at the other subjects but they have one they like yeah keep them nurture them there and mm-hmm. give them a little idea of what they can do to, to bring yeah. it together. But I didn't have that. But God, again, in his mercy and his grace, eventually I ended up at UTT mm-hmm. doing fashion design. Well, I was just about to say that the creati- creativity shows. You know, and, mm-hmm. and I'm, I, I am in UTT as a mature student. Right. And I'm in a class with people who could be half my age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right there, sitting on a stool the very first day, God said to me, remember the art? Mm. It Mm -hmm. just hit me so in my I said, God. So, I mean, not that I didn't know, but there he was planning my footsteps all along. The first two years, nearly three years, 
in university was drawing hours a sitting on a on a on a stool drawing mm. you understand yeah. Me? Yeah. so each each step of my life i have seen god working and therefore i cannot i cannot but give him praise you know mm. i cannot he, he's he's just been right there in the background showing off but in the background working <laughs> it out yes <laughs> Yes. I, I love how you said that. So she worked in work Canada. Mm -hmm. She worked in You yeah, know, yeah, well, school school over, yeah. as we would say, yeah. <laughs> you, you already got your, your, um, your papers in fashion design. And what was, what was the next step after that? The next step after that is that God. Now, before that, let me tell you. All right. Your girl get this passion to go to the university to mm -hmm. do more mm -hmm. because the sewing got mundane, kind of. Mm. Right. So I got this fire. God light this fire in me because I heard an, uh, an interview done on TV that explained they were going to open up this facility at UTT mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. would cover fashion, fashion because we I ended up in the first class mm -hmm. that did a degree in fashion design. Right. We didn't have that in Trinidad before. Mm -hmm. And actually I was looking to go by a friend in England to do something because I just felt yeah. the yeah. surge. So God light his fire, fix his story, and so I ended up going there. When um when the course was finished not realizing that they were observing us mm -hmm. as students. Now that year, I think was the largest intake of students because everybody it looked like on the, on, in Trinidad what was waiting to do <laughs> <laughs> fashion design. So it was pack. And your girl gone, and you know, I get through. So I'm happy like that. Do you know, and Maria Alexis never paid any concern to the fact that I needed to be computer literate to, um, mm -hmm. to go do this in the people <laughs> university. I've been a, a seamstress all my life. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what they take you based on. So for sure, for sure, for sure. As you enter the door, it's computer. computer. You really even know how to put it on. <laughs> so yes. I had to have a dependency on God that was earth shaking. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. And don't frighten. I feel it straight off. Hmm. By the middle of the term, mid term, mm -hmm. I knew I was going to fail the course. But when Jesus light your fire, yeah. you have a different attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even though I was failing, I was between one, two, or three entering the class uh, early. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting down and by 15 minutes into the class, I didn't know what the gentleman talking about. Mm -hmm. But I, I in every class. So you can't fail me on attendance. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. there. Most present. So... They were observing us though, and I, when I realized, well, okay, I failed feel the first course, I just, I, I, I prayed about it. I was a bit discouraged, mm -hmm. but I didn't let it keep me back. Mm -hmm. I said, well, okay, the most that could happen is that I wouldn't graduate with my class. Mm -hmm. But Father God, you will help me because you sent me that acceptance letter yeah. with four strange subjects that not related to each other. <laughs> so here was I going ahead. <laughs> And because they were observing our attitude, what they did, and because we were the first cohort mm -hmm. that they took in, the people who administrated the course decided that at the end of the semester, they would run two weeks of the class that you failed. Wow. Look at God. And to be honest with you, I believe my teacher didn't want to do that a third time with me. So <laughs> I... I got a pass in grade enough. <laughs> and your girl was able to march with her, my, my fellow um, mm -hmm. students. And it was, I graduated when I was 50 years old. Wow. My fellow students that I would have gone to primary school might have been going to their children's graduation. Mm -hmm. Wow. But Anne-Marie matured late and God had it for me because I had one deep regret. Mm -hmm. One. Other little things. It wasn't a bother to me, but I used to feel... A, a kind of burning in me because mm -hmm. when God got a hold of me and, and I got serious now, I'm hearing sermons about we, we are supposed to be the head and not the mm -hmm. tail mm -hmm. and how the value we, we put on education. <laughs> and your girl went and we saw all 
So I, I really cried to God. Yeah. I did not feel good about that area of my life at all. And even though I did other courses, I mean, real courses, but the, the main thing I had failed at. Mm -hmm. And so I used to pray to God about that. And here it was, God just swing. And I, I was accepted at UTT and got a degree, which is higher than the O levels oh, yeah. where I messed yeah. up. And then when we were finished now, I mean, we graduated in November of 2012. Mm -hmm. And when, when, before I graduated in November, they had decided to keep about eight of us to teach. Mm -hmm. And this, the miserable student ended up being one of the tutors. Listen, I couldn't done thank God. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was walking on air mm -hmm. because there I was without a proper start. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. if it is that you're genuine and you go to God in repentance, mm -hmm. you follow? And you, you ask, you talk to him yeah. because that experience was a real pain, was a hurt. Mm -hmm. But the here was God now saying, when your father and your mother forsake you, you, what will I do? Mm. I don't have a choice but to take you up hmm. and provide for you yeah. because you are the apple of my eye. Mm. So I, I, I move in line to that and I just, I, I've never forgotten it. I ended up having to move from South mm -hmm. because traveling to Rice That's Road much, was, yeah. became a challenge. I was not a young. <laughs> so I, you know, I tried it for a bit, but I, I mean, I had a little episode and I had to move up. So moving up to Port of Spain, looking for cheaper accommodation. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you what kind of challenge that was. Yeah. Yeah. But God again, support. You see network and support, they could get you far. Mm -hmm. So a sister in my church, they were supporting me. They liked the idea, pushed me to do it. Great. Mm -hmm. And when I told her what was happening with me and that I really needed to move up to Port of Spain, she said, all right, we we'll look. So I started to look and then she told me she remembered the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. I always remember them and bless them. Wow. They provide a service hmm. to many people that other people don't. Hmm. So I don't pass them straight, you know, when yeah. they ring in the bell and they <laughs> always put a little something because I remember. And I think our problem is that we do remember yes. what, what has, where we come from yeah. and yeah. what. Yeah. So I was able to move into the Salvation Army Hostel wow. on Duncan Street mm -hmm. in the days when Duncan Street was Duncan Street. Mm -hmm. Duncan Street used to be on the news every day. <laughs> Every day, mm -hmm. people getting killed. They, 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 there was a war between Duncan Street and Piccadilly yeah. Street. Yeah. Mango Rose. Mm -hmm. The people used to go up on the building and they were firing at each other. Yes, that is the time <laughs> God yeah. said you live on Duncan, Duncan Street. Street. Yeah. So I have all my seamstress, my, my customers, and I'm still trying to keep in touch with them. And nobody wants to come on Duncan okay. Street because right. they're going to get killed. So I used to have to meet my customers by KFC and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the listen, they would not come on Duncan Street to yeah. me. But God, again, he took care. And I lived on Duncan Street for seven years mm -hmm. in the middle of that war. And God kept you. And God kept me. Every day I would walk out of that Salvation Army hostel with my computer on this side in a sack and my bag mm -hmm. on this side. Sometimes I stayed in school till 11 o'clock, 12. Sometimes I stayed till 4 in the morning. Hmm. Came out and got a car and was walking that promenade. All kind of strange hours. Hmm. And God protected me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm in the dorm Saturday <laughs> night. I'm in the dorm. Eh? All of us in the dorm and we hear this ruction by the door. The gate. They had a big iron gate. And people would come in. Sometimes they were robbed coming up the street. Somebody just got shot. I never witnessed any shooting. Yeah. I never had to run for the ground. What did happen is sometimes as I push the door to come out onto Duncan Street, police army up and down. And mm -hmm. so you have to go from one police officer to the yeah. other. Mm -hmm. They would give you the um, official to pass if they, yeah. they don't have to question you. But seven years on that street, and God protected and real strange I was because at the time I couldn't afford to have internet. 
-hmm. and the uh, Salvation Army didn't have internet. So you had to stay in school. So I had to stay in school where it was free. And fighting up with the computer and all of mm -hmm. that, you had to stay with people who know what they're doing as well right. to get the assistance. It was something I couldn't have come through that and and be questioning God at the yeah, age just because I want yeah. to big stick as they would say. Mm -hmm. Right? So the, the 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 way God has dealt with me and He gave me that ability. And Marie, even if it's not going good now, could you stop and remember what I, what mm. what I did for you? Could you stop and remember where you where you came from? One night in the dorm. Well, to be honest with you, very little sleep. So the matron used to watch me from way up the corridor. I come out after I come home, take a five, and I'm outside sometimes all night because it's a long corridor. Mm -hmm. And each room didn't have electricity at that time. Mm -hmm. So there's a plug, and they put me by a plug where my, I could put in the, the computer, computer and work. And I did that for a while, and it appears that there, there was a housing scheme there are some housing schemes on Duncan Street. Mm -hmm. And one of the housing schemes overlooked our door. Mm -hmm. We never found out who it was, but it had to be somebody who was observing me. Mm -hmm. Because at, at sometimes on a night, I am the only person on the entire corridor. Mm -hmm. And one night, one evening, I got home from school. I'll never forget that. I got home and I started to feel so tired. And I'm saying, I'm talking to God in the medicine, but I have so much work to do. I need to just sit down. And the, the, a, a heaviness came on me. And I went in my room. I said, all right, I will lie down and set the alarm. I set mm -hmm. the alarm for about 11. And I went straight to, to sleep. sleep. And was awakened with a set of ponging and people running and shouting. So I jump up and I came out the door. Do you know? Because I wasn't using the plug that night, mm. a young lady from high up the, the, the corridor came down and sat where I usually sit. And somebody climbed the wall and came and robbed her of her computer. Wow. Hmm. The matron come out all disturbed thinking it's me, you know, mm -hmm. come down. To, and when she, she heard it wasn't me, well, they, everybody shocked. Shock because because yeah, yeah, I, that, is, that was my seat, yeah. literally. That is what they call it. But the goodness of God, and I, I never forgot these things. And neither can we, because he is good in the good mm -hmm. and in the bad. God yes. is God on the mountaintop, mm -hmm. and he's also in the valley. Mm -hmm. And so we, we, I, I, I've formed a relationship with him that, that, well, I didn't know it at the time, but was, it was bracing me for, for what would come down the road. Hmm. So... I, I, I decided and, and was very firm in my mind that no matter what took place, it was I and God going down the road. Mm. About two years ago, a little over two years ago, about the 10th of August, I was diagnosed with cancer, mm. third stage endometrial cancer. I started to have little reactions but i knew i had um fibroids mm -hmm. so i wasn't disturbed i said you know the, maybe it's time take them out and whatever mm -hmm. so i went and they did an ultrasound and they told me they they're not sure what they're seeing hmm. one set of pitiers <laughs> when i'm going back to the doctor pitiers falling out this folder and i'm like you know it, it, you know, you wondered. Yeah, yeah. And when I go to the doctor now, they can't make a head or tail of it. So they said, you know what? We need a CT scan. Mm -hmm. Did the CT scan and I went back. And the doctor told me, sit immediately and don't move. And it was because they were seeing a huge blood clot in my lungs. Wow. So that initially is what started the whole drama, right? Mm -hmm. A blood clot in my lungs. So... God, they said, you have to be hospitalized immediately. I couldn't go anywhere. And I'm lying down there now, talking to God, because the, in the hospital, Mount Hope, you get a nice view of the hills. Mm. So I, I am looking at the hills, and I'm talking to God quietly. And then a consultant comes next to me, and he says, um, Miss Alexis, 
I said, yes, yes. He said, um, you are in here because of the blood clot, but we are seeing this massive thickening in the, of your womb. And it cannot be anything else but cancer. Hmm. So I said, okay, doctor. And I, as he left, I turned to the hills from whence oh, comes my health. health. And I want to tell you, God has kept me as calm. My, I don't think he's less of a God to me. I don't think he just turned his back slightly and something happened. Mm -hmm. Because I believe in the God who mapped out mm. my shaky start, mm -hmm. put things and people in place, yeah. things and people in place mm -hmm. to get me to where he wants me to be. Yeah. When I wanted to be in Cayman Islands, he knew the opportunity. He knew what he would work out here mm -hmm. and everything was shut down and I had to find myself back here. Yeah, yeah. And in no time, he worked it out always with good people. Mm. backing me and supporting me and not just good people but from the Seventh-day Adventist church yes. I want to say loudly yeah. right because some of us are really skeptical about each other and and giving testimonies have become like a nil mm. because I don't want anybody to know anything about say it me again. right mm. and and we just talk it's too much you. right people talk too much and, and so what if they talk mm -hmm. and the, the talk, mm -hmm. but God's will and plan for me will not be affected by what you say about yeah. me, yeah. Yes. or not even how you treat me. Yeah. Is in between there. Don't think I haven't had the negatives, but I I'm, I I don't concentrate on that. Yeah. And you see, after all He's brought me through now, yes. ah. I am more open now. I'm more. I want to be what mm. God wants me to be. That's I don't want Lord. to be reacting to your behavior. Yeah. I don't want your behavior to make me into. Mm. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. a missile mm -hmm. <laughs> you know a hard piece of concrete mm -hmm. uh, he's been working at me and shipping off this stuff and and he's brought me to where i can now visit my mother and have a have a nice little time he's brought me to that forgiveness point yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. right where i i could the last time i visited her was the 30th of august right we were having visitors there on the 7th of september Mm -hmm. And the 7th of September is her birthday. So I was hoping she could have come for, my, for, the, for the birthday mm -hmm. to be out. But of course they didn't. But, but the goodness of God. Yeah. And that could only happen when you make a decision that you're going to open up. Because I needed to be open to what he wanted to do to me to forgive. Yeah. I was yeah. hurt like that. You know, The yeah. first yeah. time I had to visit my mother, I, I was stressed out. It was not something I looked forward to mm -hmm. because we don't have nothing in common. Mm -hmm. you, you never look back. You, you don't know nothing about me. I don't know nothing about you. Yeah. So wow. it wasn't something I looked forward to. Mm -hmm. But I was telling my friend who carried me on the 30th of well, August how different this visit was. Yeah. Took a little video, put it up on my status. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Happy like that, and I wasn't pretending, right. as I'm not too good at that. Right. I, I I was I was happy that I could go, and I was telling the friend who as we left there and we were, we went into Port of Spain that the spirit actually impressed me. She's now 85 years. Try and see if you could make the visits a little regular, mm -hmm. and and see if God, you know, yeah. what what could happen. Yeah. In, in that area. She mm -hmm. has a little Alzheimer's, but still relating a bit, yeah. you know. Yeah. She yeah. still knew me and so. So that, that's what the spirit impressed me and that's what I'm going to be heading to do. Mm -hmm. But we, a lot of us, we, we, we clammed up. And if we clammed up, how will that text that you all repeat about giving your testimony, how, how, how are we going to help each other? How are we going to help each yeah. other? You know how much people in our church really do have mother, father, yeah. And ended up all how mm -hmm. all over the place, so that you 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 can't be wondering about what people will think. I, to be honest, I, they, I tell you one of the things they used to tell me as a child is that I do have no shame, mm. and and it was true. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to, to be honest, and also I am really just like my mother. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we have that that same, same, nearly same voice, same. 
Lopez. Yes. She, yeah, we have the same, had the same temper. Yeah, she was a, uh, mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I've, I've surrendered to God and I'm, she's quieted down and really enjoys, she told me she enjoys, you know, like getting up early and praying and that kind of thing. So we go forward because I cannot let what she did keep me out of heaven. Do you know she, <laughs> God could, she could be walking up the streets of gold and I, they with me, me hurt hole in it and my drama and look what she did and God yeah. say, you forgive she long time. I want to say so much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because, I know when I because you, you, you know, you, you're saying so much things that are, are deep in my heart. Because unless we come to the point to understand that nothing is about us. No. Nothing is no. about us. We are here to glorify God. God yes. And and when God brings you to that point, I mean, you, you're in reach. As, as my Lord would say, there's no graduation period <laughs> in, in this Christian yes. walk. But the more you, you talk to God, the more you submit to God, you, you come to understand that. And I say time and time again, you are just dust. Yes. But God has given us the opportunity to be a co-laborer with him. Yes. And when you understand that, what people say, what people do cannot affect you. No. Because you understand is my yes. soul salvation yes. at stake. Yes. I Praise am not God. going to let what you say about me Praise keep yes. me away from the streets yes. of yes. all. Yes. I often tell people in the world, I, I had loads of jewelry. I, I always have something gold because you see my gold cushion <laughs> because I picture myself on the streets yes. walking and talking with my God and we had to come to the point to understand it's about God. Yes. It's yes. about God. It's not about what nobody say, what nobody do, mm -hmm. how people operate. You showcase God. When yes. somebody op operates in a certain way, it's some love they need. Yes. Some love therapy they need yes. to understand that the goodness of God would make you speak even when you don't want to. Yes. And you know, I am I am so happy that you're here today, honestly, because a lot of people are so closed in. They're so closed in and so afraid of what somebody might say about me. Paul said, I die daily. And and mm -hmm. anybody who knows me know that 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 I, I say that all the time. I want to be that one that dies daily. Yes. That when God sees me, say, Well done, Rhonda. Well done. Yes. You did what I have called you to do. Yes, God. And I, I want you to encourage somebody. Yes. Encourage somebody today. To allow them to understand mm. that God has called us for a purpose. And it's not about us. Yes. You see why I love you? <laughs> we met just a, a couple just of, a couple of, and I just, I just love you. I Praise just love God you. It, I love it has you to too. be the spirit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I watched even that. I, I watched this whole thing. I see this lady telling me to go upstairs and sign some paper. She don't know the first thing about me. What, yes. What is like, what, she, what are, and then, I, but I've been praying since then straight. Cause I said, I told God the same way. Whatever I say, I want it to be a blessing to somebody. Yeah. I wanted I want to help them come out of the hole. Mm. That hole that they believe. You discover up yourself in this place and believe that God didn't love you at all and mm. will not bring light to you. But you have to grow as well. The mm. stuff that comes to us mm. is for us to grow. Oh, yeah. Right? I started I'm university beautiful. in 2008 because beautiful. that is when I could have handled it and do well at it mm -hmm. and have a passion for it. Yeah. He could have bring it earlier, but he didn't. Because like, like, I, the guy who was put on the backside of the mountain for 40 years, hmm. he was brought up in the king's what? palace Jesus. and he thought he was ready. Mm -hmm. So how dare you hit, hit my, no, let me handle this now. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't the time. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the time. Yeah. God had to work on his character. Yeah. Bring him. To, to be humble and yeah. ready because at any as i told you attitude like that mm -hmm. ready for you you know you tell me the wrong thing whatever yeah. i could handle my stories and as a seamstress you had to be able you know much people started with me as a seamstress 
and are nowhere near the field now. Mm. They don't even want to see a real tread. Yeah. They probably don't know how to handle the, yeah. the, the, the tread a needle anymore. Because people like you and me mm -hmm. would have not treated them well. Yeah. Right? In the Adventist circle as well. They, if they could get you something for the cheapest, they mm. want it. Yeah. And they always want a, 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 a something till Montana yeah. and a something. But they're buying everything else <laughs> well. Right? So I got an attitude to handle them and that. <laughs> you know, and nobody left my house with the garments unless all the money was on the table. Let's see. All right. But I hope it was a good attitude. Uh, no, it was we, not. Well, it's, it, to it be has honest. to change. It has yes. to so change. God, God, yeah, God, because, God, let me God tell you why. Yeah? Because we know that our thoughts and our feelings yes. make mm -hmm. up our moral character. Yes. Yes. We're yeah. not carrying anything else to heaven. That Don't let it. anybody make your yes. character unlike yes. Christ. Yes. Hmm. Allow Christ's character. I had to admit I was weak in between there, but mm -hmm. endeavor always, yeah. always trying. We I never to. give up. We have to. We can't I don't give up. give up. I don't give up. I don't give up. I do. Even if my behavior is disappointing to me, mm -hmm. I've learned that the grace covers me mm -hmm. with that. Once I am open to God and I need to 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 seek for that, yeah. He's there. That's what He came and died for. Yeah, yeah, yeah to yeah. make available for us Amen. because. He knew me before I was born. Yes. Yes. And he called my name and he said, even though she was a bag of trouble, girl, come forth. He knows your name. You follow? And mm -hmm. even though mom didn't want me, he said, I will come here. Yeah. And I will come here and I will be a child of his. Yeah. Because he saw that he could work on me. And even though I cry and I will bawl, but when I, I finish and I get up, it's Jesus I want. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to turn. I don't want to go anywhere else because yeah. I know how good he has been to me. Bless you, Lord. You know, I want to come back the, to the situation with your diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Where we are with that now. So, I ended up being hospitalized about four times mm -hmm. on the brink of death mm -hmm. because my cancer, the cancer I had was kicking out these blood clots. Wow. So, there was a strain seesaw with me for nearly two years where they, I had to be on blood thinners. Mm -hmm. But because I was on blood thinners, Mount Hope will not touch me for an operation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unless I was off the, the, yeah. the blood thinners yeah. Yeah. for six months. Wow. They wouldn't touch me. So it was a seesaw going, going and coming. And every time I came off the blood thinners, God. was a blood clot catch me all over now i anytime i hear the the, the that siren hmm. from an ambulance i just pray mm -hmm. long time it used to be a little annoying it could be a little annoying depending on where it catch you yeah. sometimes you have trying to have a good conversation and then this makes it yeah. but and my whole attitude to that has changed because that ambulance is taking somebody yes which took me it's a lot of time one wow. time they had to take me up out of b mobile in tunapuna i left how the house good Good, good. Went to be mobile. And as I entered in and handed the phone to the girl and told her what was wrong, I started to feel ill. That was the last hospitalization. That was August year, last year, mm -hmm. about the 17th. Mm -hmm. I started to, I, said, I told her, I said, listen, could I sit somewhere? And she put me on one of the nice long poof that they have. Mm -hmm. And I sat there. And by the time she came back to me, I was lying down. My eyes was closed and I couldn't open it. And so they started to fan me and ask me questions. Mm -hmm. And the next thing ambulance. Was, was ambulance and, and hospital. And this time it was a, what you call a saddle. A saddle blood clot. And that's one of the, the ones that could really, that, that's out of it. My a nurse friend of mine tell me, Anne-Marie, yeah, when you come in the hospital with a saddle. And I really experienced it because they brought me in put me, left me on the arm thing, and they gave me medication, but wasn't relating to me. They, everybody stood up and was looking at a monitor at the back of me. Hmm. I've never forgotten that. It was as if I wasn't there, mm -hmm. but they were mo monitoring because it, it's not something you get over easily. Usually you leave there in a, in a bag. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I, my pastor, had, they had reached before me. They were in the hospital with a friend who is the prayer coordinator from the church and another sister and they were in a room very close to me praying me through mm. that whole drama 
And they told me every time the doctor came out of the room, they were asking him what was happening. And the she, they told me, the doctor told them, he do want to raise their hopes. Wow. So just, just continue, but he didn't want to give them any idea what was happening with me. But the power up. Right? But God, yes, yes. yes. again, mm -hmm. right? Again, and God is good after that incident i came out got back my strength and i had surgery in november of last year um and that that's what we needed to do the surgery not in mount hope but they they referred me to st james because mm -hmm. of the same blood to nothing yeah. they couldn't yeah. but do you know st james dealt yeah, with that like if it was nothing <laughs> they, i keep asking them because i said but i'm on blood thinners they said um this is the day you come come in the day before, mm -hmm. right? And we'll monitor you, and that's all. So I had to now trust God and not worry, mm. yes. because Neil, for more than a year they've been fighting up with me to get yeah. a biopsy. Yeah. it wasn't even the surgery, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to get to get me to get a biopsy yeah. was a whole drama. Because of it, and the bleeding, yes, yeah. Yeah. they were afraid I would yeah, bleed out, literally. Yeah. And so I went in prayer. My, I mean. I asked, I stood, I was public with this, huh? Mm -hmm. Stood up in church, I asked everybody for prayer. But I forgot to say from the very first time that they told me what was happening, once I came out of the hospital, I spoke to my pastor to get a laying on of hands and to get an anointing because the Bible tells you us did what the Bible how say. to deal with, mm -hmm. if are you sick, mm -hmm. you call, mm -hmm. so right? Yeah, like, so mm -hmm. I know that I operated under the grace of God. Yeah. And he has kept me the going into St. James. They told they kept I went in the night before and they just lessened the blood thinner. And the day of the surgery itself, I took none. And they I had the operation. And as I came out, they started me back on the blood thinner, but less. Mm -hmm. And they kept kept lessening it because the doctor, the consultant told me, Mom. We don't keep people on blood thinners so long. Mm -hmm. It can damage you. Mm -hmm. And when, when they're telling me that I was on it nearly two years, mm -hmm. right? So like, I watched what they were doing. Less, they lessened it, they lessened it. And then I was out by the Friday. And I had home now. So I kept lessening that. Mm -hmm. And by March, I just oh, stopped it in you. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In yeah. Jesus' name. And um, God has been good up to now. I was less than 130 pounds. Yeah, a friend mm. in the church, she just laugh and tell me that they could have drink water out of my wow. color board. You know, you know these wow. friends. Yeah. <laughs> Is that yeah, a cameraman camera laughing? <laughs> 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 they could have drink water. I was feeble. Yeah. I was feeble. But I fell a know. couple of times. Look what yeah. the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. How yeah. could I not? You asking me blind, but how could I not come yeah. here? Yeah. How could I not? Oh no, oh no. God God to. is God is too good. Honor, praise and glory. Amen. I'm still still haven't they haven't released me. Actually two weeks ago had a quite a, a, a little a little wave mm -hmm. after all my treatments because I did about twenty five radiation and I did about eight chemo mm -hmm. and you have to do a body scan. I was getting some headaches. And so they ordered the body scan. And when I got the results about two Fridays ago in St. James, the doctor is like, um, the radiologist said that they're seeing something in your head behind you in the area of your right ear. And then they can't, they have, they can't describe it. They don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. And I said, all right. She said, I'm writing this up for you. Get a re get, get this ultrasound done as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I said, all right. And I prayed and I walked out of St. James because I already, when you nearly died four times hmm. and then had an operation with blunt and mm -hmm. come out. Yeah. Oh, God. God is in charge. Oh, I've put God in charge. Amen. Wow. And I've made it right with him to the point that I have told him if it is that I have to go to sleep, just let the last word in my mouth be Jesus. Amen. That's wow. it. So there's no panic and no drama. And, you know, I said wow. the devil had to wave his tail now and then. No problem. Let him go ahead. So going to get this 
ultrasound mm -hmm. that will be last week Thursday. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the doctor he's, he had a little and then he did the other side as well, which wasn't really required. But he said he said I'm double checking because I really not seeing anything. Yeah. Is there Jesus? Or Bless what? the Lord. Bless Listen, the Lord. So a few people knew they prayed. I prayed, but I didn't go public, too public with it. Because I ain't even entertaining, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. To be honest with you. Oh, yes. If they said there's something else there, we deal with it. Mm -hmm. And if God says I live, I live yet mm -hmm. again. That is the confidence. So there was no drama with me. And it seems there is nothing there. So on Monday, I go back to the doctor with all the slides to show her. It appears there is nothing, nothing there. there. Praise God. It is done. Yeah. Praise God. It is done. Praise God. I met a lady in the hospital in St. James. She helps people now go around and get the injection, show them where to go, what to do, how to do it. Because one day I spoke with her. So I all seen you around, you know. She said, yes, I had cancer. She said, actually, about 26 years ago, she had cancer. And she said, since then, the cancer came back twice. Mm. But there she is, up and down, and she has an organization. And the only reason I'm not in the organization is because they do a lot of the work on Saturdays. Yeah. The fundraising and yeah. stuff. So I can't, we, are, we are friends, but I can't really yeah. participate. Really but like. I'm very, very... So this thing is a... It's is like a... a, a, a a tool that the enemy can use. Mm. You can feel like a fear billing. Mm. Billing. Mm. And if you in surrender to God and really oh, understand yes. that that fear or the devil cannot take you out. Yeah. He has to ask permission yes. as he did for Job. Permission, he has to ask mm -hmm. permission. And if the permission is granted, you need to be ready. Yeah. That's all. Mm. No yeah. fright, no fear. Wow. So yet as again, I am here, more than 120 pounds to be interviewed, yes. And thanking God from the bottom of my heart. Actually, I sent you an invitation because I'm that's why I'm having a Thanksgiving we accepted next the week. Invitation. We will be In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. yes. Just a nice little quiet evening, but God impressed me to do something public, public yeah. in church, and that's where I'm headed. Rest in Jesus' name. Next week. Yes, you still need to ask her where she be. Yes, six, the six, the six I, from three o'clock. I could come. I, <laughs> I am sincerely. If Rhonda comes without you, I will. I, I will. Of course, do you know and ask some questions. <laughs> I definitely will question her. Wow, that. Yes. And we, I am so blessed by the encouragement, mm -hmm. by your attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll talk to that just now. <laughs> you know, and now God has truly. You know, kept you on this path. Mm -hmm. You know, but we still need to ask. And everyone that. wants to know why does Anne Marie Alexis believe? I believe because I've experienced his Amen. hand in my life mm. from the onset. Mm. He knew what he was doing. And even though I put myself through so much pain and, and you know, thinking I was unwanted and unloved and not, you know, all of it, I, I ended up realizing it was a, his plan. Yes. Ah. Right? There's stuff. How do you get diamonds? You have oh, to dig baby. in the dirt. Wow, you have to take I like off that. Some of the stuff. I like that. The pearls. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you get the pearls? <laughs> That, that shellfish goes through pain, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah? To form in there and to... I mm. was not of the best. I had nothing to recommend me, mm. including subjects. Nothing at all. <laughs> but he took his soul, you know, down the road that I would just want to love him and serve him mm. and be a benefit, if I can, to anybody. Mm. So he, he started his work long before people have children and they don't want them. And how much times we hear of fetus in our yeah. garbage and yeah, yeah, yeah. children being left somewhere and aunts eating them up. He didn't do that. He's still... So even in the bad, I look for what is good. good. The yeah. blessing of it. That in the bad, he still hmm. was taking care of me. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Hmm. Hmm. 
Sister Anne Marie hmm. Alexis. Hmm. You know, this, this testimony kept ringing in my ear a bittersweet. And I, I would <laughs> explain a bittersweet. A bitter, given up at six <clears throat> months. Given up at six months. But God kept her into the hands of someone who truly showed her the love. Despite a situation after being called names, saying that she's hard and she has an attitude and she's just like her mother. But God kept her. Kept her all through these years. Worked through certain experiences that at times would have brought pain. But God kept her. Elevating her in the right way. There she felt that, that she, she gained that love for art. Not recognizing the the part that God is taking her through. Now she became a, a tutor, <laughs> helping others to achieve what they want to achieve. Huh. You know, I heard this saying a couple of weeks back that your aptitude will take you no further than your attitude yeah. and despite they have said that she had an attitude mm. her attitude was just so one of a determination not just to for higher education but to serve god Amen. and the high point of this testimony for me is that part of forgiveness and being able to forget. Mm. Though her mother gave her up at that very young age, she never knew her. But in the reconnecting throughout her journey, she forgave, she forgot, and she loved her mom even to this day. Sometimes many of us need to be placed in a situation to get rid of things that are, are that defile us mm. you have heard us said that you know she, even diamonds that they they dig deep into the dirt to 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 be revealed as beauty god has seen some beauty within her mm. and because of the situations that that she has been through mm. she was able to get rid and still working on her hardness, mm. her attitude. <laughs> she admits, yes, she's like her mom. <laughs> but the love that God has placed in her heart, yeah. she has taught us. And I know definitely she can teach you. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, whoever has been, has hurt you, it's no better time than now to forgive. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense holding on and saying that you would not forget because if you have not forgotten, then you have not truly forgiven. <laughs> we all want to make it to heaven, but there are some things that we need to get rid of mm -hmm. in our lives. And this is why sister Anne Marie Alexis believes the word of God says in Revelation 12 11 and they overcame him by, by the, the blood, blood of the, the lamb, lamb and by, by the, the word, word of, of their testimony that's great I'll pray father mm. father in heaven mm -hmm. we thank you for your daughter being able to to share to come forward, Lord, of and, and share your goodness in her life from one bitter moment, Lord, Father, early in her life. Ended up sweet, trusting in you Amen. with all her heart. Though she was placed, Father, in, in, in these life-threatening situations, you have truly kept her, strengthening her, building her faith. 
knowing that she wants to spend the, the rest of her life in your arms. We thank you, Lord, for even keeping her through all these tests. We thank you for even watching over her up to this day. But I pray, Father, even as, as she believes in you being the balm in Gilead, Lord, Father, the one who, who, who has created those, those miracles in the past can do the same today, Lord. Because you are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. We ask today, Lord, Father, that your mighty right hand be stretched forth and touch Sister Anne-Marie, Lord, from the crown of her head. And I pray that even your healing power, Lord, will go through her body, even to the sole of her feet. And because gravity is not a problem with you, Lord, Father, that it would be even radiated from the sole of her feet to the crown of her head. And we claim today your promise in Psalms 23, verse 3, where you have promised to restore her soul and lead her in the paths of righteousness. Even these days that she would testify of your greatness, keep her, Lord Father, in a way that she can encourage and strengthen others on her journey. Father, we even bring the persons before you, O oh God, who may be struggling. Yes. Who may be struggling to forgive. Who may be struggling in life. Who may be struggling with all sorts of things, oh God. We ask even now in the name of Jesus that you would set some captive yes, free. free amen. We ask, oh God, that you would touch, that you would heal, you would restore, you would amen. renew, and you would revive somebody today amen. by this testimony. Amen. And Father, we give you the honor. We so, give you the glory. Please. We give you the praise, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Amen.